Welcome to another episode of I Was There Last Night, because I was there last night. Don't believe me? Think fast. Last night I saw Napalm Death and The Black Dahlia Murder featuring Misery Index and Abnormality at the Summit Music Hall, November 8th, 2016. I really needed a boost of extreme metal, and The Black Dahlia Murder is one of those bands that really like gets to me because it's just so extreme and so much fun. Now they are the only one of these four bands that I listen to regularly so I didn't recognize a lot of the songs from the other bands so this is much more of an impartial review than ones where I go in either having seen the bands before or knowing their catalogs really well. first band up was Abnormality. They're a female fronted band out of Boston and they have Cousin It playing the bass. And this band is pure death metal. Her vocals have this touch of almost like Cannibal Corpse or Six Feet Under, you know, those, you know, great like death metal grinding bands. It was a short set, but it was brutal nonetheless. And they had some excellent guitar solos. Um, all around, the band is just very talented. I mean, the guitar, the lead guitar set definitely stole the show, but their vocalist also, she did you know quite a good job. I didn't recognize the songs, obviously, and the titles, I only was able to capture a few of them. Death Metal is hard, because they usually growl what the title is, and if you don't know what the song is, you're out of luck. One of the songs I do remember was called Mechanisms of Omniscience, and that's off of their latest album of the same name, and that song was a shredder. That was a fantastically fun song. They also played a song called Swarm, which they said was about drone warfare. So obviously this band is very political, they're very socially conscious, which is one of those that I absolutely love seeing that, especially in you know death metal and extreme metal, because then you know that there's something real behind those emotions. Next up was Misery Index, and for these guys, their sound check was practically a show itself. I always love seeing the band set up the stage and check the sound. In this case, they sort of gave a little mini show before their actual performance. These guys are definitely a raw, grindcore, death metal sounding band, and every member was on point. They definitely, for a moment there, I was like, this is like the death metal version of Mastodon. They def Every member of the band has you know, great talents, and the sound was just brutal, it was fast, it was fun. A couple of titles I remember include Sleeping Giants, which was a really fun song. They closed with the song Traitors off of their album Traitors, which I thought was a fitting end to this set that they were doing. And then probably my favorite song from the night would have been The Great Depression, which was just brutal, it was fun. It was, you know, this kind of band, really, you go there to feel the music and they absolutely make you feel it, you know, across the board.
So then came the Black Dahlia Murder, and this is the band I came to see, and they absolutely did not disappoint. Although I will say that Trevor Sternad did some very weird things with his arms throughout the set. It was very strange. Did a lot of this. I wasn't sure what that was doing, but you know what? Whatever floats his boat. His voice was absolutely on point. And then at some point, someone threw a shoe on stage, so that was something that became a thing throughout the set. They played a lot of songs off of their older albums, especially Nocturnal, which is good for me because I haven't listened to some of their newer albums with nearly the frequency that I listen to, say, Nocturnal or Miasma. They opened with What a Horrible Night to Have a Curse, which is one of my favorite Black Dolly Murder songs, and it was just a good way to get get the crowd into it, get everybody you know fired up and ready to go for what was going to be a very very well done set list. In fact, going back to some of the older stuff they played off of Unhallowed, going all the way back to their first album, they played Contagion, which was just mind-blowingly fun to watch that. They did play some songs off of their new album, um, including Abysmal, the title track, and Vlad, Son of the Dragon, just to really get people drawn into their newer catalog as well as the older stuff that they've been playing. And then they closed with I Will Return. That was the way that they ended the night off of Deflorate, and that was a awesome set. I mean, that was just a great way to close out the night because that song has so much going for it. As a band, they their music is so dynamic. There's a lot of different elements that they throw in there from death metal, melodic death metal, a little bit of black metal here and there. And so to end this night on a song like I Will Return was just a fantastic way to show, to show the fans what kind of band they truly are, and they absolutely did not disappoint. <laughs> Last up, the godfathers of grind themselves, Napalm Death, and I'm pretty sure that Barney started off the show with his fly open. The herd had actually thinned a little bit, so this was a it was kind of weird that a lot of people left when Napalm Death came on, but regardless, the band was relentless. They just played their old school type of punk metal grindcore that they are known for. They played a varied set that included older and newer songs, and in some songs that are rare that they either have never played or have not played in a very long time. And it's actually kind of fun to think that some of their music is older than half the audience that's there. I'm also glad that he got political. There's some great messages in their music and definitely some challenging message in their music. And just given the climate that we're in today, it was good to hear him not waver from that and not shy away from being political, which is always welcome. A couple of highlights, they played Deceived, which is that awesome 20 second song. Napalm Death has a couple of those, like really short, you know, like 20 to 40 second songs, and it's just kind of fun to hear them play it. My favorite from the night might have been Stubborn Stains. That was just, you know, a great growling, grinding, fast song. Suffer the Children was another great one, as well as Twist the Knife Slowly. I mean, you definitely get the punk roots when you watch Napalm Death. That's just how they feel. Even though they've mastered their grindcore art, they still have this like vestige of being this old school punk band. And you see that on stage and you feel that energy and just watching people in the mosh pit during their set is entertainment in itself. And I thought they did a fantastic job. I really enjoyed this show, and I really needed it, too. There was a lot of energy in those mosh pits, and even though I didn't partake, they were absolutely fun to watch. And this was a cathartically brutal evening with some extreme bands, and it was much needed for me personally, as well as in our current time and place. You needed something like this. And this type of music is not for the faint of heart, but everyone who showed up seemed to be up to the challenge for this type of music. Sometimes you just need 
this kind of healthy release. And each of these four bands provided enough rapid fire metal to wash away all of our cares in the world, if only for an evening. Again, this was an absolutely great show, a lot of fun, especially if you're into extreme music. And this is a lineup that just makes sense. It all flowed well together, it all fit together, and at the end of the night, it all felt right. If you were there last night, let me know what your thoughts were on the show, if you enjoyed it, what some of your favorite tracks were from the night. And that does it for this episode of I Was There Last Night, and I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. Bye. Hey gang, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, you can click to subscribe to check out my other videos right here on YouTube. Or you can click the link to check out my website to find out about all of my other projects, including my podcasts, as well as my books. So what do you say? Click away.